Let's talk to Katie Ivins, who's from the Campaign for Real Education. And Janice Skelcher, who was prosecuted after failing to pay a £240 fine over term time absences. Very good morning to you. Good morning. And in the end, how much did it cost you, Janice? Um, probably about £2,500 with um, fees and court costs. Why did you have to take your child, children out of school during the term time when there are weeks of holidays the rest of the year? Um, well, in my circumstances, uh, it was down to finding time where I could get respite for my mother-in-law. Who was, was ill at the time? She had brain cancer, she was terminally ill. Um, I looked after her 24-7, 24-7 needs, and um, we had them for two years. My marriage was breaking down, it has since resulted in the divorce, but, you know, I was trying to save our family and we needed time together. And, and we how needed come this didn't away. count as exceptional circumstances with the head teacher? Because it um, sounds exceptional. Absolutely. And she knew everything that was happening at the time. She knew all the circumstances. It was all laid out. It was requested. And we were told, no, it's not happening. And if you take the time, you will be fined. But I think the fine to pay the fine is an admission of guilt. And I do not feel guilty for being a good parent mm. and doing what was best for my children and also for looking after my mother-in-law who was terminally ill. Mm. I mean, you've had articles on earlier about looking after our families mm. and looking after the okay. elderly. So, Katie, Katie Ives, I mean, look, this seems a very compelling case for oh, somebody being compassionate. I mean, there's a wider issue, isn't mm. there? I'll get you to respond Absolutely. to that first. But the wider issue, it seems to me, is that it's worth paying the fine. No, this I mean, here's the problem. You know, the, the travel firms all conspire to make sure that the prices go through the roof mm. in school holidays, mm. right? Maybe, maybe and something actually, I would rather that. I would say to people, well, pay the fine and have a nice cheap holiday. Well, maybe what? something can be done about that. By the way, I do think her, her story is exceptional. I really have great mm. sympathy for you. You were right to do the holiday, but no. Generally speaking, uh, we expect schools to be there to teach our children, right? Um, we expect our children to be taught to read, they expect them to be taught in maths, we expect them to be taught in a structured way in the term time. We therefore have, an, we as families therefore have an obligation to get our children to school, unless, of course, there are exceptional mm. circumstances. Maybe granny is dying in Scotland or Nigeria or, or whatever or, it is. But, but I come back to my point, or you have exceptional yeah. financial difficulties, which mean you, can, you can't afford to take them away in conventional half term because the prices are so exorbitant. Well, I really feel strongly about it. I think it's a complete <laughs> and utter rip off and it forces families to make a very difficult decision. Yes, if you're fine, have... if you're fine, it's 250 pounds but you're saving yourself a thousand pounds on the holiday it's worth doing isn't but it we all have different financial circumstances why can't you have a holiday in britain why can't you take them to the, to the park in holiday time people say oh but holidays can be educational sure they can they can be educational in this country so you don't have to go abroad you ha don't have to travel by air for your holiday have you I ever think tried you have to have a holiday here in the middle of february uh, i mean seriously it's lovely. like uh, we're, all, we're all dying <laughs> it can be of flu. Lovely. You can have a St Valentine's holiday. Huh? I mean, be Where would you go that's <laughs> lovely in the middle of February in this country? Oh, go somewhere interesting. Give me one place. Honestly, you've got loads of places you to go. You can't name country. one place. Oh, oh, all right, then Edinburgh, York. Edinburgh Cornwall. in the middle of February. Have why you not lost the, your marbles? Why not the Isle of Wight where this, where this other comes from? Why not the Isle Edinburgh, of Wight? Edinburgh in midsummer is cold Isle enough. <laughs> we can argue Edinburgh's about the beautiful. merits of going on holiday in the UK in the February half term, but I want, to, I want to put a point about the last <laughs> legal judgment on this was that if your child had a good attendance record, taking them out of school for a holiday actually wasn't going to be detrimental enough to justify ah, a fine. Ah, but if the teaching has been done properly in school, that child will be missing what was being taught in that week. And that is something you should not do. And you should expect the teachers to have structured, planned teaching that teaches the children in a structured, organised way. And your child is going to miss it if you take them out on holiday at that time. But the reality is, and it's an interesting debate, but the reality is if your child does come out for a week, it's not going to merely mm. amount to a row of beans, is it? It should do if the education is good. If they are missing nothing in that mm. week, then the education is not being given properly. I, mean, I agree and with we that. Expect, I, 
in schools, I, as we should, right. to give a proper I agree education. That, to I agree children. parents should, should keep their kids in school and stuff, but I do think this issue of the way the travel companies fleece people in That's this country yeah. is a... Well, it's a major that issue. Is, it is an issue that should be dealt with yeah. in some way. Just I don't know how, James, but it should be. How did you deal with the money issue in the end? What was the I outcome? mean, there wasn't a money issue for us at that time, and we did take them over the half-term period. Mm. Um, however, subsequently, I'm a single parent with two children now, um, and I can't afford to take... We've had three years, and mm. I can't afford to take my children on holiday. And I actually think it's a real detriment to them that they're getting no life experiences to travel travel abroad to see different places. I used to be able to take them away to, you know, they've been to India, Australia. They've been to many places take to see to many different get, things. Get flu in the middle of February. The, my children would hate to go to children. Edinburgh for a week. India. They want to go away and they want to be able to go in the sunshine and jump in the pool and feel okay. carefree. I'm